Welcome to English Mastery Academy, where we unravel the mysteries of the English language. Today, we're diving into 10 common confusions that even seasoned English speakers can stumble upon. Whether you're a native speaker looking to refine your skills or a language learner eager to level up, this guide will help you navigate the tricky terrain of homophones, contractions, and more. Let's embark on a journey to master the nuances of there, versus, there, its, versus, its, and beyond. As I told earlier here are 10 common confusing words with explanations with examples. Where all the English learners could benefit. Okay, let's start. 1. There versus there. There, this pronoun indicates possession, as in, they left their books over there. While, there, is an adverb indicating a place or position, as in, let's meet over there. Here is an example, their house is over there by the lake. 2. Its versus its. Its, possessive form of, it, indicating belonging to something, as in, the cat licked its paws. While, its, contraction for, it is, or, it has, as in, it's a cute gesture. Let's look into the example. The dog wagged its tail because it's happy. 3. Your versus your. Your, contraction for, you are, as in, you're going to love your new phone. While, your, indicates possession by the person being addressed, as in, is this your bag? Look at this example. You're going to regret not bringing your umbrella. 4. Whose versus whose. Whose, possessive form of, who, indicating ownership or belonging, as in, whose idea was it. While, whose, contraction for, who is, or, who has, as in, who's responsible for it. Look at this example, whose car is parked outside, and who's driving it. 5. 2 versus 2 versus 2. 2, number indicating the quantity of 2, as in, I have 2 apples. 2, adverb meaning also or excessively, as in, let's go to the park too. While, 2. Preposition indicating direction or purpose, as in, let's go to the park. Take a look at this example. I want to go to the park too, and I have two apples to bring along. 6. Except versus except. Except, verb meaning to receive or agree to something, as in, I will accept any offer. While, except, preposition meaning excluding or apart from, as in, except that one. Here is an example, I accept your invitation, except for next weekend. 7. Affect versus effect. Affect, verb meaning to influence or produce a change in something, as in, the loud noise may affect your concentration. While, effect, noun indicating the result or outcome of something, as in, what will be the effect. Look at this example. The new policy will affect all employees, and its effect will be felt immediately. 8. Then versus then. Then, conjunction used in making comparisons, as in, I would rather eat pizza than salad. While, then, adverb indicating a sequence in time or order, as in, then we can decide on dessert. Have a look at this example. I'd rather go for a walk than watch TV, then we can have dinner. 9. Here versus here. Here, adverb indicating location or position, 
as in, I can hear the music from here. While, here, verb meaning to perceive sound, as in, can you hear me? Let's look into the example. I'm standing right here, and I can hear the birds chirping. 10. Complement versus Complement. Complement, verb or noun indicating something that completes or enhances something else, as in, the wine complements the meal. While, complement, verb or noun indicating praise or admiration, as in, I must compliment the chef. Here is an example. The shoes complement the dress perfectly, and I received a lovely compliment on my outfit. In today's class we learn the confusing words. 1. There versus there. 2. It's versus it's. 3. Your versus your. 4. Whose versus whose. 5. Two versus two versus two. 6. Except versus except. 7. Affect versus effect. 8. Then versus then. 9. Here versus here. 10. Complement versus complement. I hope this helps you to talk English effectively. Congratulations! You've taken a significant step toward mastering these common confusions in English. By understanding the distinctions between, there, and, there, it's, and, it's, and the others, you're well on your way to clearer communication and greater confidence in your language skills. In our upcoming videos we are going to learn more and more. For further playlists, visit our channel English Mastery Academy, or check in the description. Is there any doubt in English language or grammar, don't hesitate to ask us. We are glad to teach you. We came to the end of this class. I invite you to share your doubts, experiences, challenges, and success stories in the comments. Subscribe to the English Mastery Academy for more insightful content, and let's continue this language learning journey together. Do you want to continue your learning? Choose any video here or visit our channel for unlimited lessons to improve your English language. Do you want to listen to advanced English conversation? Please subscribe to English Conversation with Misaki. Thank you for being part of our vibrant learning community. Your enthusiasm and effort make English Mastery Academy truly exceptional. Keep embracing the joy of learning. Stay tuned for more classes unlocking the secrets of English language mastery. Keep practicing, stay curious, and never hesitate to explore the intricacies of English. Stay tuned for more insights and tips from English Mastery Academy. Happy learning!